NFT is slowly taking over the world. Ether Rock NFTs are now worth millions of dollars. There are of course tons of other examples of NFTs being sold at a shocking price. So of course, people are more and more curious about this space. While the NFT ecosystem is still young, there are many interesting projects to explore and some are already generating great value for creators and consumers. Well, you guys are obviously very interested because my inbox is spewing with messages from you guys asking about NFTs, so here I am trying to clear some confusion out there, particularly the difference between ELC721 and ELC1155. So in this video, I want to explain a little bit more about the emergence and mechanism of these two standards, and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll learn a bit more about this space. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, a big welcome to you. My name is Jemmy and I'm a crypto enthusiast. If you would like to see more about crypto or NFTs or blockchain or DeFi, make sure you hit the subscribe button for more similar content. One thing you also need to know about me is that I'm not a financial advisor. The content on this channel is only for entertainment purposes and it's definitely not financial advice. Without further ado, let's clear some confusion between ELC721 and ELC721. RC1155. So the thing is, when games on the Ethereum blockchain start to emerging, companies look for ways to progress and improve the standard of blockchain gaming. As a result, non-fungible tokens using the ELC721 standard were formed, and CryptoKitties was one of the pioneer games which show exactly how amazing this development was. CryptoKitties were extremely popular in 2017, and people were so addicted to this blockchain game where you can breed and sell your cat. Since then, the blockchain gaming space has been moving forward and has experienced huge and wonderful developments thus far. So then ELC1155 was created to help with particularly batch transfer. Well, that's the short version of the background story that I feel like you need to know or you might want to know. But what exactly are ELC721 and ELC1155? ELC721 is the first standardized interface for creating NFTs and is still the most widely used right now. ELC721 is the essential set of rules for NFTs, defining them as a way to identify something in a unique way. The ELC basically introduces a standard for building NFTs on Ethereum. NFTs are unique tokens and have a different value from other tokens that are part of the same smart contract. For example, if I sent someone a Bitcoin and the person sent it back, it might not necessarily be the same Bitcoin that I initially sent him. But when something is not fungible is unique and you can identify which one is which. The recent boon of NFT that you're experiencing can be credited to the emergence of ELC721. People's art pieces, crypto pongs and bought apes, these are all ELC721. The protocol allowed creating a marketplace for artists, gamers and everyone who has something unique to sell. However, the biggest issue with ELC721 is that when gas fees are high and this can be a huge problem to small artists especially if you're trying to mint NFTs or Mars, it doesn't make much sense to use this contract. In case you haven't figured it by now, the gaming industry is all in when it comes to the idea of NFTs, but it has raised several alarming issues when the ELC721 is applied. The standards such as ELC20 and ELC721 are based on deploying a separate smart contract for every token type or collection. The result of this is plenty of redundant bike code that will further strain the Ethereum blockchain. Simply put, some games are now creating thousands of different types of tokens and every new type uses a separate contract, which is why the need for ELC1155 was born in the first place. ELC1155 is a unique token that supports both non-fungible and fungible tokens. It's also much faster and more efficient to use in batch transfers. ELC1155 can use a single contract to make various types of NFTs, from currency and real estate to digital art and gaming items. Yes, you heard me right. NFT can even be used in real estate and a lot more. We only just started to scratch the surface of NFTs from real estate to logistics or fashion industry. You can use NFTs to prove authenticity of many unique and collectible goods. It will not only help consumers verify the ownership information of their items digitally, but also significantly eliminate the risk of 
counterfeiting fraud. You can now just simply scan a QR code and check everything on the blockchain, from price to where the asset originated to who previously held the ownership of the asset. And with ELC1155, gas fees are cut by 90%, making it an affordable way for anyone to start minting on blockchain. I'll also make more videos about NFT real life use cases in the future. So if by far this video has been helpful to you, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more. Swapping in-game NFTs that are created by ELC20 or ELC721 rules and set in separate contracts is a difficult process that takes at least four steps before it's executed. By introducing ELC1155, swapping in-game NFTs is not much easier and viable. With this ELC1155, you can earn points and buy items using these points in a game. At the same time, you can exchange items too. The items can be represented by non-fungible ELC1155 and points can be represented as fungible ELC1155. Moreover, ELC1155 allows sending several types of NFTs in a single transaction instead of making a separate transaction for every different token. This reduces congestion as well as the gas cost, which ultimately reduces the fee you have to pay to a minimum. The popularity of NFTs continues to grow. We like need to witness many new projects and industry joining the blockchain revolution. NFTs still have a long way to go with plenty of room for expansion before the adoption goes mainstream. In addition to bringing more reliability and interoperability to blockchain platforms, NFTs also help bridge the gap between digital and physical worlds. It's far from being a bubble as some would like to call it. But which NFT standard to use, whether it's ELC721 or ELC1155, it simply comes down to your use case for them, that's all. I understand newcomers being drawn to platforms using ELC1155 as they are more affordable. Many support the decision if they choose this minting standard and believe their work should not be viewed as lesser than those who have been in this space longer and choose to mint only on ELC721. As a community, we should be a welcoming space for all to grow in. Artists should never be shunned for which contract they decide to mint with. I've also minted my own NFT on Refinable, so if you want to check that out to click the link in the description box below but regardless of which one you choose just remember to have fun so that's it for today's video guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you smash up the like button and subscribe for more this will really help because it will inform me that you like this type of content and will surely make more similar videos like this in the future follow me on both twitter and instagram for more regular updates i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video